Bill O'Reilly here. Thursday, September 10th, 2020. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. The president unveils his list of possible Supreme Court picks should he be reelected. Los Angeles officially cancels Halloween. Half of urban households now struggling financially. The Oscars introduced new inclusion guidelines for best picture. Americans tune out professional sports. Also ahead, what happens if Donald Trump wins re-election? But first, the president revealing 20 people he could tap to join the Supreme Court should he remain in the White House. So this includes Republican Senators Tom Cotton, Josh Hawley, and Ted Cruz. Liberal Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg turns 88 years old next March and has been battling health problems, including cancer. Officials in L.A. County banning trick-or-treating this October, saying the Halloween tradition is simply too dangerous in the age of COVID. Other prohibitive activities include indoor parties, street festivals. Folks in L.A. are permitted to attend, quote, Halloween-themed art installations at outdoor museums. New study from Harvard says 53% of households in America's four largest cities, are facing major financial difficulties. Majority of residents in New York, L.A., Chicago, and Houston are depleting their savings and turning to credit cards as the urban unemployment rate hovers about 10 percent because of the pandemic. Nationally, unemployment stands at 8.5 percent. Starting in 2024, the Academy Awards will implement new industry inclusion standards for the Best Picture nominees. The movies can only be considered by the Academy if they have, quote, at least 30 percent of actors or staff from two underrepresented groups like women, LGBTQ, or people with cognitive or physical disabilities. Sounds very complicated. Americans changing channels on professional sports. Ratings down double digits as football starts tonight. According to a new poll from Gallup, a growing number of adults view the teams negatively. More than 40% say they are unhappy to see athletes making overt political statements on the field. In a moment, President Trump badly wants to be reelected. But what will happen if that happens? Right back. Hey, investors seeking steady cash flow, ready to diversify? Founded in 2006, NRIA has become one of the nation's leading specialists in institutional caliber private real estate investment with more than $1.2 billion in assets under management. As their slogan says, they specialize in realty investing done right. You can also use your 401k or IRA to invest. You could receive steady 10% monthly electronic payments to your bank account with valuable property, not just paper assets, securing you and obtain returns with bonuses targeted at 18 to 21%. NRIA's 14-year track record and $1.2 billion in new construction development backs you. So learn how you can invest in this hard asset real estate cash flow fund today. Please call 201 210 2727, 201-210-2727, or visit nria.net. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. What will likely happen if Donald Trump is re-elected president in November? If you study his first term, as I have, Mr. Trump has largely governed in a traditional way. He has moved to the right, become more conservative because that's where most of his support lies. But he has not gone crazy in the Oval Office as far as policy is concerned. Now, his demeanor, his tweeting, all of that is, let's say, non-traditional. But put that aside. We're just talking about governance here. So if reelected, Donald Trump will likely continue to be a traditional president. And his priorities will be these. Making good trade deals and stimulating the economy by making it easier for companies to make 
money. That's a lot of makes. But Donald Trump believes that his legacy is tied into the country's economic success. So once there is a vaccine for COVID, which is the key to the economic comeback, Donald Trump is ready to resume being a tough trader. And so far, he's been pretty successful in that. Mr. Trump also will support law enforcement over protests and change agents. He doesn't think the United States has to fundamentally change. He will continue to limit immigration, although I do believe some kind of deal will be made to allow more people to come to America legally. But illegally, Mr. Trump will not tolerate it. Next, Donald Trump, if reelected, will withdraw U.S. troops from expensive and dangerous overseas situations. And that puts him at odds with some in the Pentagon. He will also name traditional judges to the Supreme Court. And that's a big thing for conservative Americans. He will hold the diplomatic line against Iran and China. He doesn't want those countries to cause trouble. And he will shoot if provoked, although I don't see China and the USA going to war. However, if Iran attacks any of our boats in the Persian Gulf, they're going to get smacked. Donald Trump will practice payback if he's reelected. You can count on that. He believes that people who have hurt him and his family do not deserve respect. If President Trump were more circumspect in his public statements, including tweets, he'd be ahead right now. But the race is very close because millions of voters do not like Donald Trump's style. That is the truth. And Mr. Trump doesn't really care. So if reelected, you can see that going up a notch or two. If COVID never happened, President Trump would win easily. But of course, that is not the case. I'm Bill O'Reilly, and I approve that message by actually writing it. For more news analysis, please visit BillOReilly.com. And please check out my new book, Killing a Crazy Horse. Hit number six on Amazon today. And we really appreciate everybody supporting the book. In a moment, something you might not know. What does COVID-19 have to do with losing your home? Well, the FBI reported that since the virus struck, cybercrime up 75%. Amazing. The legal titles to all homes are online. Home title theft is a cybercrime. Cybercriminals find the title to your home online, forge your signature on a quitclaim deed, and refile as the new owner of your home. Then they take out loans against the home, steal the cash, stick you with the payments. You will not even know it until you get a late payment or foreclosure notice. Home Title Lock protects your home's legal title. Your home is your most valuable asset, your safe haven. Home Title Lock puts a virtual barrier around your home's title. When they detect tampering, they shut it down. So please go to HomeTitleLock.com, register your address to see if you're already a victim. Use code BILL for 30 free days of protection. HomeTitleLock.com, please use code BILL. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 57 years ago, legendary television host Merv Griffin was sitting on an airplane about to land in New York City. The producer was thinking about a new game show to launch, during the upcoming TV season. Said Griffin to his wife, quote, why not do a switch and give the answers to the contestant and let him or her come up with a question? The result, the longest running game show in TV history, Jeopardy. After cycling through a series of hosts between 1964 and 84, the Jeopardy crew settled on a relatively unknown broadcaster from Canada, Alex Trebek. The series now, one of the most recognized ever to air, and is largely responsible for re-energizing the quiz show format following a series of scandals in the 1950s. The game has gone on to give out 
more than $12 million in prizes across five decades. Sadly, Alex was diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer in 2019 and has been undergoing painful treatment since then. He's written a book about it. Said Mr. Trebek, quote, I've lived a good life, a full life, and I'm nearing the end of that life. If it happens, why should I be afraid of that? Alex Trebek is a courageous and good man. And here's something else you might not know. While it may seem the show revolves around a single host and three contestants, an entire crew works to come up with unique questions. The show employs two dozen researchers and analysts to create the categories and clues used to stump the players. The program even has a website allowing scholars to submit questions from universities around the world. If you end up on Jeopardy!, You must choose your words wisely. The game has three judges behind the scenes listening live to the participants' answers. If you pronounce something wrong or add an extra word to your answer, it might be no money for you. Jeopardy! is a very disciplined presentation. Back after this. How bad is your back, knee, or neck pain? Mine was pretty bad. I played four sports when I was younger, and uh, it's catching up with me now. I tried a lot of stuff to manage the pain. Ointments, pain relievers, fish oil, nothing worked. So a doctor friend of mine recommended Omega XL, and here's why. The underlying cause of painful, achy joints and muscles is inflammation. The key to knock down inflammation before it causes damage is backed by 35 years of research. And that's what Omega XL does. The doctor also says, quote, I can't write any prescription that comes close to what Omega XL accomplishes. She was right. So if you're suffering with painful, achy joints and muscles, stop wasting money and switch to Omega XL. Order Omega XL now and get a second bottle free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash Bill, OmegaXL.com slash Bill, or you can call 800-844-4888, 800-844-4888. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly, no spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. <laughs>